Hey, welcome again. This is Mike, and uh, this is the final uh, update on the on the forge. I finished rebuilding the burners last weekend, and again, thanks to Tim at Big Dog Forge for his how-to. Uh, kind of followed along, did a few extra things. Um, one of them being uh, on the inside of the uh, reducer, uh, chucked it up on the lathe, and I actually hogged out the the threads on the inside there to smooth out the airflow and that actually seems to have helped a lot with uh, with the, the way that this burns. I ran the forge yesterday for six hours straight at forging temperatures and, and, it, and it held up really well. Uh, only used about a third of a tank on that 100 pound um, cylinder and uh, also added this pyrometer so that uh, could accurately track the temperatures and uh, and dial it in for either uh, forging heat, welding heat, what, whatever uh, you want to do. Could actually uh, dial it down to the point where you could temper in here as well. So that, that's uh, kind of a neat little deal. Uh, just like I think it's a what they call it a K23 probe. So I just drilled a. Uh, a diagonal hole and, and, and just the very, very tip of that probe uh, goes into uh, the chamber. Now, I can't really see too much up in there, but I have a little step up in there to kind of divert the uh, flame down and get a little swirl effect in there. And yeah, it works out really good. As a matter of fact, uh, if I run both burners at the same time, uh, it, it's actually hard to keep it below welding temperature. So I dial them both down really low uh, or uh, after I burn both of them for a few minutes and bring the, the forge up to temperature for, uh, for forging, I'll just turn the back burner off and uh, the whole, uh, I'd say five out of the six hours that, that, we, that we were forging yesterday uh, was just the front burner and it wasn't even opened up all the way and it maintained uh, around 1900 degrees just just rock steady so the the burner turned out really good um, the nozzle that I was using was a three-quarter inch to one inch bell sort of sort of the same thing here this is inch and a half to three quarters and then I went three quarters to inch and I, I wasn't getting the temperatures I wanted so um, I, I came up with a uh, inch 1.9 inch outside diameter 1.6 uh, inside diameter uh, stainless steel tube that I capped off and 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 threaded to receive this uh, three quarter inch pipe nipple and the the quality of the flame is just just uh, very very nice so I'll see if I could go ahead and and fire this up really quick and give you a a chance to check it out. Okay. So this is pretty much dialed way down. You see the choke is just about closed to where you just have that, that dragon's breath coming out. And you can see on the pyrometer is very sensitive as soon as it lights up it starts climbing so without uh, without incre increasing the gas flow I'll go ahead and open this choke and you watch the flame so that's Pretty much open to where you're going to get a lot of airflow now. Now we'll go ahead and uh, turn on the turn on this back burner as well. Then we'll open it up.
back burger off. And this needle valve allows you to just really dial the flame in exactly to where you want it to be. And you can see in just a matter of a minute or so, we're already up over 1100 degrees. So that's that's the forge. Uh, you can see the the uh, the entrance to the to to this is uh, four inches wide by nine inches or or nine inches wide by four inches tall, which is the size of fire brick, and then it opens up a little bit more inside. So it's a it, it's a fairly good sized forge, uh, but uh, after I added the kale wool over the fire brick. Uh, I gave it a couple of really good coats of ITC 100, and I think that's really what is uh, making this forge so efficient. Uh, reflects so much of that uh, infrared energy back into the forge to where I, I could run this up all, just about to f uh, welding temperature with just the one burner. Uh, with two of them, I could definitely run it up past. I, I've had it to 2300 degrees so far, and it was still climbing before I cut it off. Uh, and backed it down a little bit. So, um, uh, as as I get a little bit further into uh, doing some some uh, some forge welding, uh, I'll post some videos of that. Uh, I'm gonna try and make some Damascus, and uh, that's pretty much it for now. If you have any questions about the build or the burners, how I went about doing this, uh, let me know. Um, Otherwise, that's that's the uh, the last update, and then I will be posting pretty soon another uh, update to the Power Hammer project. I've got all the bits and pieces here in the garage, and what I do have together so far, I, I've I've got spaced out here or laid out, and uh, now that the uh, the garage is a little bit more cleaned out, set up, and organized. Uh, with the mill and the lathe and everything, um, I could get back on this project and start working a little bit more on the on the drive and uh, and the rest of it. And uh, we'll post some updates of that. So, thanks for taking the time to watch. Uh, give us a, a like if you would. And uh, again, if you have any questions on this, I'm glad to help out, uh, steer you in the right direction and answer any questions you might have on the burners or, or the, the forge or the build or anything like that. Thanks for watching and be safe out there. Take care and we'll see you again.